Hi, I'm Dan and welcome to this week's Elements Developer Diary. Now, I've got a few bits to cover this week, but first I wanted to talk about the beta and how the rollout's going. Now, we've got uh, quite a few people on the list and they're giving amazing feedback and consistent feedback and that's great. But we're not adding anyone else to the beta just at the moment. We kind of put a pause on it because we want to uh, catch up with all the feedback and all the bugs you guys have reported. We need to get those fixed up before we add new users because if we add new users now, they're just going to report the same bugs. So a bit of a pause while we uh, catch up with things and make sure we stay on top of it. So if you are on the list, you will get the beta. Just hang in there for a bit longer. Um, and I'm sorry about the, the wait, but it'll be worth it because uh, you'll get a version of Elements that's a lot more stable. Um, right, so uh, let's dig into the um, new build I have here. One of the things I wanted to uh, look at this week was components. Uh, let me just switch to the main pack. Um, previously, we had we talked about what we're going to call these, whether we're going to call them elements or components, and I'm still convinced we should call them components. Um, but we also had a thing called sections in here as well. And in the latest build, those have been removed, and we're now calling everything a component. We will do sections or something akin to those, but that will come later. So what we really want to do now is focus on straight components. And that's uh, exactly what I have here. So you can see now um, we've got our components organized into groups. And the gallery previously was a section. We've moved that into a um, component. So. We've got our content. This is where you'll find all your, um, well, the heading, images, stuff like that, that is the content on your page. Then we've got a layout category here, and that's clearly for layout. So you've got your container, your grid, and your flex. We've got a navigation and overlay categories. Now, at the moment, there's only one item in each, but we're obviously going to add other styles of navigation and other um, types of overlays like popovers, cookies, things like that. So while there's only one item in these categories, there will be more eventually. Um, and we've got this utilities class down here at the moment, and I'm not 100% sold on this. Right now, this has kind of the button and the divider and a card in it. And these items could go into other categories. We're just... Uh, we're putting them in utilities as kind of a holding place for now until we've got some more components and we work out the categories. And also, I really want to feedback from you guys. Uh, is this the way to go? It feels like it is, especially as we start getting a few more components in here to allow you to do more things. You'll want things organized like this. So um, all the navigation bars will be a navigation. Um, it, it just makes sense. And yeah what do you think and what do you think about the categories we have because uh, these kind of things you know the card it could go in layout or it could go in content we're also thinking we might have different card styles so maybe we need a card category you know but this is developing and these this is where we are now so we'd love your feedback on this and this um doing this beta in public or this development work in public really works well for us to see what you think because usually we would do this behind the scenes and um, we would kind of work on this stuff and change it and and you know we might not always make the right decisions on on what makes sense to users as well so having this back and forth has, has worked really well and hopefully it's building the product you guys want as well that makes sense so that's where we are with those those are components um, and I like the way this is going and this layout. So let us know what you think on this. Um, we've got some bigger things in the work that didn't make it into this beta. I'm hoping to demo that next week and um, also it will be in the beta, but we'll see. Uh, but there, there was a, there's a big, uh, <laughs> it is a feature, but it's also a starting point for something bigger. Um, but yeah, so I will hopefully show that off next week and it'll be in the beta. But let's move on because it's not ready quite yet. All right. So uh, this week I thought it would be um, fun to just build something. 
Um, and I remembered the sticky note that Apple used to have on their website. <clears throat> um, when they're, if you've been an Apple fan for a long time, you'll probably remember this. When the App Store, Apple Store goes down, they kind of have this, um, they show a we'll be back soon sticky in the middle of the screen, or they used to. They're kind of a bit more classy now with this black background and text. But I thought it'd be fun to um, kind of make this sticky style in here and see if we can build it. And I've got a fair idea of how I'm gonna do it. So let's build it live and see what happens. I can't guarantee we'll <laughs> do it, but I think it's gonna work. So what I'm gonna start with first is I'm gonna go to the layout and I'm gonna get a container. And I'm gonna drop that on and we want this to be full height because I want my sticky to be in the center of the screen. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look in the sizing area and the height, I'm gonna set it to screen and that will set the container to the screen height. So it's always gonna be, always gonna be that. Um, and then the content, I am going to set it, uh, it's already on container. So that means it's gonna restrict our content to the breakpoints that we have set up in the screens area, which is perfect. Now um, I've got my background. Um, I'm going to switch to typesetter. Uh, I'm going to switch to that theme because I know it has a bit of a off-white background, which I like. And now we're going to build the sticky. So I've got the main bit set up and I'm going to drop in another container. And this is going to be our sticky because these containers are really flexible and you can style them however you like. I want to set a width on the container. So I'm going to go for custom. Um, and you know, I think our let's 400 pixels. That looks about the width of a sticky that I want. Um, let's have a look background. So we want to change the background. Um, and you'll notice on here, I've got single group mode switched on, which is really great because it just shows me what I'm working on. I'm going to change the color of the background and we're going to search for yellow. Perfect. Let's change this to yellow. And you can already see that, see that happening there. Um, shadow is set to none, but I'm gonna go, let's put a large shadow on that and you can see that appearing there. So this is already starting to take shape. Um, let's put a heading in here. We got some text and we'll be back soon. Um, Let's do that. I think they did it in lowercase. Yeah, there we go. We'll be back soon. Let's just hide that. Um, all right, so we're starting to shape up now. Let's get, um, there's a couple of ways we could add padding to this. Um, I'd probably add padding on the, on the text. Um, let's just add a bit of padding top and bottom so we can see what we're doing. Uh, we need a handwritten font. So I'm going to go to the theme studio and we're going to go to fonts and um, yeah, let's create a new font and we'll just call this hand because it's a handwritten one. And I'm going to go to Google fonts and let's go handwritten. And now we can have a look through here and find one that we kind of like. Um, Maybe architect's daughter is quite good. Let's go with that one for now. So I've built a custom font here and it's using a Google font and we just need to apply it to our text now. So I'll go to font and text styles and we'll let's select hand. Okay, that's looking pretty good, but we want this much bigger. Boom, that's looking good. Um, and it has, does have a bit of a heavier weight. So I've overridden the font there and selected there we go. So I'm going to want some padding. Let's let's adjust this padding because I want a bit on the sides as well to bring it in. Um, yeah, that's looking that's looking pretty good. Um, so now let's preview that in the browser. Perfect. So we've got our sticky there, and um, I mean that's come together pretty quick. We could obviously play around with the sizing and the layout of that. Um, you know. We could center it. I think it looks best left aligned. We could play around with the sizing uh, and the line height there um, to get it 
looking good. Uh, we probably want to tilt this. Now, at the moment, we don't have um, any effect components. I demoed these way, way back in the um, private group we used to have that was showing off elements. Um, but we don't have these in here. We, we are, um, we're going to rework them and add kind of animation effect and layer components, but we don't have those in here yet. So for the moment, um, I'm going to use a little advanced feature here and I can put in CSS classes and we can use any available Tailwind classes in here. Um, and I'm going to use the rotate uh, class. So let's um, rotate and three, there we go. Uh, and I want it to rotate the other way. So we need to do minus rotate. So I tap that in and there we go. We could rotate it a bit more. There we are. So let's preview that in the browser. Boom. And um, that's pretty good. So I very quickly set up a little sticky there. Let's have a look. Uh, container, container and heading. Um, it's as easy as that. And we could obviously go, um, we could go further with this. Um, what else could we do? We could, uh, we could put a gradient on the, um, on the text. We could put a gradient on the text or an image in the background of it. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to find, um, I'm thinking uh, it'd be good to give the text some texture. Um, so let's, uh -huh, like this. Um, we're just gonna try and uh, nab something here to demo it. What's gonna work? Uh, now, ideally, you'd want to find a uh, a free pencil texture to download. Um, but let's, uh, as we're under time pressure and you don't want to, let's just snap this as an example. Let's save that to the desktop. But I could go and create this in Photoshop, etc. Um, but we don't have time for that. So I'm just doing this to show you the concept. Let's pop this in here and uh, where are we? Yeah, let's give that boom. Um, yeah, so now uh, it's given our text a little bit of um, a little bit of uh, texture. Now, ideally, I'd probably want this to be uh, I'd do this as a PNG with a bit of transparency in it. But it kind of this is just to show you what's possible. Uh, the container as well. We could uh, we could put texture on there, or we could do a grad on here. Oh, there we go. So already got the yellow colours. So yeah, we could have a. It's really flexible. We could have a lot of fun with this. Um, so there we go. Uh, I'm going to switch that back. I'll switch that back to black. Uh, yeah, I hope that shows you how. You know, it's kind of fun just to build these things out. And this is really simple. We've got a nice effect here. And this could be for a coming soon page or something. Or, um, you know, you could do this for a 404. Um, screen, you could use this for anything. It's quite a nice effect. And it's just made up a couple of containers and a heading there. Um, and you could obviously go to town on this, add more things, images, blah, 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 but works pretty good. All right. Um, that's it for this week. I hope, uh, hope you found this useful. And if you are still waiting to be on the beta, don't worry, we will add you eventually. Um, let's just get this a bit more um, stable and some of those obvious issues and bugs that people are reporting fixed up and then we'll start adding a lot more people so hang in there all right thanks for watching this video and i will see you next week cheers bye yeah.